I keep track of all of my auditions and this year I did 112 auditions. I'm pretty sure that's the most I've done in a year. If you are an actor or want to become an actor, pay attention to the type of auditions. Most importantly, I'm gonna tell you where I got my auditions. I use an audition tracker that I created myself. I've been doing this for I think five years now, like tracking my auditions or maybe more. All I use is Google Sheets. If you have a Gmail, you can do it too, and it's pretty easy. Let me give you like the quickest 30 second tutorial. Click the grid next to your photo on Gmail and then select Sheets. Select the assignment tracker if you don't wanna start from scratch. To change the drop down menu on each column, click on Data and then Data Validation. Then you can add things like where you got it from, casting networks, etc. I change what I keep track of almost every year, but here is my 2022 tracker. Date, source, CD, company, NDA, role, pay rate, audition type, callback, did I book it? Links to audition, headshot submitted, and notes. Where did I get all of these auditions? I have across the board representation in San Francisco, so a good chunk were in the San Francisco Bay Area and then the rest were in LA. The LA ones I self-submitted to myself. I use a lot of casting websites, but I don't necessarily get auditions from these casting websites because sometimes the things I submit to just don't want me to audition. So I, I don't get a self-tape audition request. Um, so currently I am using Casting Networks, Casting Workbook, Actors Access, Cast It Talent, Casting Frontier, Aura Casting, my agency MDT in San Francisco, if you didn't know, casting websites are usually filtered so that they can send it to everybody or they can just send it to representatives. Like actors, we see a little part of it, but usually when you get a uh, an agent anywhere, LA, San Francisco, New York, whatever, um, you have an Actors Access account or Casting Frontier or Casting Networks, whatever it is, and your agent also has one. And your agent gets to see a lot more. I highly suggest following people like um, Bella Hibbs because they sometimes will give us a sneak peek of what it looks like on the other side as far as the casting websites. But where did I actually get all these auditions from? 75 of them I got directly from my agency, MDT. 25 were from casting networks. The rest of the auditions were a combination of like friend referrals, people I've worked with before, Instagram, mixture events, things like that. So now, to to what kind of auditions I did because in a dream world, in an ideal world, hopefully 2023, um, I would be auditioning for films and TV shows like co-star roles, whatever, a lot more. But let me tell you, um, I auditioned for 43 commercials, 36 voiceovers, 11 industrials, and the rest were UGC user generated content, um, student films, print, like that kind of stuff. So the majority of it was commercial and voiceover. I did not book any voiceover work this year. The first job that I booked was in February and this job, it was, it was a fun set, um, but it was an industrial, no idea where I can ever see that. They didn't send us um, links or anything. Some production companies are so sweet and will tell us when something comes out and give us a link to YouTube or a file that we can download. But this one in February, nope. And then also in February, I did two uh, acting classes, directing classes at a university. So sometimes I like to go work at universities as a professional actor to students learning how to direct actors because I've seen some actors be a little rude to director students and I just want them to have a good experience. And also it's like paid acting rehearsal. So I love doing that. The casting director for the school always invites me and um, they have uh, students of all levels. In March, I did a covered California commercial in Spanish. That was one of my goals this year to do something in Spanish and I got to do it a couple of times. Me inscribí en Seguro Médico a través de Covered California. Te casaste o divorciaste? ¿Tuviste un bebé o adoptaste un niño? I applied for a solo performance workshop um, and I, I haven't shared that yet, but I wrote a monologue and I was in a live like Zoom performance um, with Crowded Fire Theater in San Francisco. So it was a virtual class where we learned about solo performances and like how powerful those things can be. And I got to create my own monologue. I had already written the monologue, but they helped me workshop it and gave me a bunch of feedback. And that was super helpful. And it was cool that I got to share something that I wrote. Why did they smash his face into the cake? That was the first time I've ever thought about it. 
In October, I did another student scene and then I worked with Covered California. Again, this time it was a non-speaking role, but it was, I love that production company and it was just so much fun to work with them. And I know I'm gonna work with them again and again in the future. De alta calidad que podamos pagar para sentirnos protegidos. Y eso es lo mejor. Oh, and then I did another um, student scene in October, and then in November I did a um, an industrial, like for a tech company. But it like they were the schedule was a little rough, so they ended up just being um, taking photos of me. So it ended up being a print job, which I like never book print jobs. Well, I shouldn't say that. This was the first print job I've done in a very long time. I did book another job in December as well through my agency MDT in San Francisco. And here's a little bit of the audition I submitted through Casting Networks. We learn by being hands-on and working alongside people, people you'd never cross paths with at another company. And yes, all of these auditions have been self-tape auditions or Zoom auditions, which is like almost the same setup as far as like the backdrop. Um, since the pandemic, since 2020, I have not had to go into the office for at least the first audition because callbacks are sometimes can be different. If you want to get more self-tape requests, get better at auditions because people are going to want to see your audition if it's like actually good. And you know, it's you're, you're going to get the hang of it. It's going to be okay. If you also want to be an actor or just get more auditions, um, I have a bunch of videos like this one talking about specifically the things that I've done to go from like auditioning four to five times a year to auditioning hundreds of times now. Um, so maybe that'll help you. Go watch it.